Welcome back guys and girls to Devil May Cry. Uh, trying a little audio newness in this video, so uh, if it's somehow horrifying, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we're jumping into mission number Cinco Virility. Time to take down some more demons. Oh, guess we're getting a load screen this time. Normally it just jumps right in, so... Yes, combos, 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 combos. I've heard the game is decently short, so I'm excited to push through this one and hopefully take on some awesome bosses. That's actually what I'm most looking forward to. Show me the bosses. Now, please, now. Please, and I don't count that big fat baby from last time. I don't count him at all. I count the hundred at the beginning, but I'm really, really waiting on another big boss to impress the heck out of us. Let's see. I was here years ago as a child. I explored the whole facility unseen. I sensed a demon under the factory. A succubus. An ancient one. I believe it's the source of the psychotropic ingredient. That's what they use to control us. Welcome, visitors, to the Virility Factory. Virility's secret ingredient is what makes Virility the number one soft drink in the world. And best of all, it has been scientifically proven to improve weight loss by 21%. How do people actually fall for this crap? If you're told something's true often enough, you tend to believe it. They told me I was crazy for seeing demons. Yeah. They tried telling me I was a basket case, too. They wanted to put me on drugs. Said it would make me better. They lied. They just wanted to keep me weak. Docile. How did you figure it all out? Virgil pulled me out of the nightmare. You? When the people you're supposed to trust most turn out to be... deep and scum. Your eyes really do open up to evil everywhere. I took a stand. Fought back. Killed. No matter the consequences. So I chose my path and I lived by it. And after all that anger, violence, and death, you have to dig deep. Dig into your own heart. To see if you are still sane. Or if you can still call yourself... human. I just knew in my heart I wasn't crazy. Did he just reach into his own heart? Is that what he was attempting to do? Really feel his heart? Like, not just like, metaphorically, but physically feel it? What? What? The succubus is hidden deep inside the factory, but there is no physical way to reach it from our world. Only from Limbo. There's a rift inside. Rest assured that it has been deemed both safe and beneficial by our trustworthy and ethical scientists. All right, let's follow Cat to the rift. Cat either is having like a really bad hair day, or I, I don't know. She just this hood. I feel like it would get uncomfortable after a while, but. And also, if I was making a secret soft drink with an evil ingredient to control the world, I don't think I'd let people into the factory and be like, Hey, our secret ingredient makes us awesome. And again, there's a lot of things in America that I find crazy that people believe and buy into, so maybe it's not that, that far-fetched at all. I think. You do? You said you'd been here before. I want to go that far. Yes, but it was during an out-of-body experience years ago. Whoa. I'm flying around in spirit form. Yeah, in limbo. Virgil says it could be an effective intelligence gathering tool, but I can't do it at will. So, how did you do it before? It was triggered by extreme psychosomatic trauma. The nightmares. What are the nightmares? It's in the past now. A touchy subject, I presume. I'll leave that one for later. Where are we going? Follow the green news. You guys ever seen the live-action TMNT movies? Oh, they're so bad. But I loved them when I was younger. <laughs> With, uh... What is, the, what is the wolf and the turtle evil guy? Tonka and Toka or something like that? Something like that? You guys know who I'm talking about. When What is this What is this symbol? It reminds me of like Miyazaki films, like Spirit Away or some crazy Japanese d four eyed slug double vision creature. Maybe that's the secret ingredient they put in. Slugs, demon scum slugs, filled with balloons. The 
This is where they store the merchandise ready for export. It's funny. What is? I expected it to be bigger. A lot bigger. But then, I was just a child when I was here. I was in limbo. What are you doing here? Escaping my nightmares. You came to limbo to escape your nightmares? Yes. What? Dante's like, that's my nightmare. Why are you nightmaring to escape your nightmares? You dumb girl. No, just kidding. She actually seems pretty useful. I wonder if she's actually going to ever use her powers or we're actually going to get to fight alongside her. Maybe they're saving that for the Once sequel. Once you're in limbo, all you have to do is retrace your steps back to the mixing room. Should be easy enough. Maybe, but the demons may sense you once you're in limbo, so stay alert. And once I've reached the mixing room? You'll be able to descend deep down into the factory. And kill me a succubus. I'm hopeful that this succubus is another boss. It sure sounds like it, the way that they're hyping her up. Succubus, succubus. Okay. It's here. All right, see you on the other side. Whew. Dante? Down here. You're right. It's a lot bigger here in Limbo. What next? Head back to the mixing room. I'll meet you there. Obesity, stupidity, drink virility. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of foods in America these days, isn't it? This game is pretty on point. Uh, yeah, and this is a whole lot bigger than freaking the room was before. Poison, obesity, stupidity. It's like an advertisement for fast food or what? Come on now. Whoop! Alright. I love this traversal. I know I've said it a lot of times, but I just, I have to say I'm so impressed. And I know this isn't like, whoa! The most popular game on YouTube right now, uh, but I think it is a very good one. You know, it's strange because it doesn't really have the epic scope probably necessary to make it a game of the year title, but I think it can definitely be um, the best in its genre for sure, uh, and definitely one of the the most mechanically sound games of the year, uh, which is important. You know, it's something I really respect about Far Cry 3, even though I didn't love the story. It was mechanically sound like crazy. So What's up, guys? Get out of my face. And smash. Whoop! Wow, that was so lucky, seriously. Because, again, remember, you can't cancel out of that stupid, uh... Ouch! You ruined my score, baby demon. Rip your shields off. Get over here. Double trouble. Whoop. No, you're dead. Thanks for nothing, you big jerks. It's a very interesting system. That one attack that destroys your score encourages perfection. Encourages dodging. Almost in the same way that Bayonetta encouraged dodging via um, the slowdown mechanic. I still think that's like the best mechanic in... Uh... What the heckers? Oh, I suppose... I know... Well, now it doesn't matter. What I was supposed to do is this, and then eventually my angel wings after I grabbed it. I kind of replicated it there for you. A little bit. Uh-oh, new bad guy? Who is it? The Fire Hell Knights! You are your Frozone's hey, evil you to the room? Whoa, that thing looks nice. What? You wow! Really? Why the... Yes, and the music kicks in. Whoa. Nope, not gonna let you slice and dice me like that. Boom, 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 brutal. I like how you can kind of keep it going. Even after you kill them, it's possible to keep your attacks going still. See, that's, that can also be used as a good uh, dodge mechanic. Uh, whoa, no, 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 no. Please don't ruin my score. Big, angry, jerk. Pop him like a top. Ah. 
you, I noticed that you can get, like, going the wrong direction a lot, which is a little bit weird. Um, like, you can aim the wrong direction quite easily. That's savage, though. Savage! I like that. What? 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 You're alive? Let's say. Oh my jeez. Yeah, I'm getting a good hang on this system. I know I have, you know, a lot of moves and stuff to still unlock, but uh, I feel like I'm... Ah, wrong way. This is going to be pretty awesome. Whoa, do you hear that noise? What the heck was that? I feel like more than ever, though, I am, like, really, uh... Really mastering this, this system, which is such a good feeling. Like, this is the first episode where I feel really confident in my abilities. Uh, oh my, it's a baby, it's a baby, it's a big fat baby. Get out of here. No, no, you are not freaking Bane. Whoa! I kind of wish that Bane in the game was more like Bane in the movies instead of like, uh. Ow, yeah, this guy's gonna mess up my score, isn't he? I'm try not to let him. It's gotta be really defensive. Keep my combo going with this. Get all crazy. Get oh gosh, that's hard to dodge. You're hard to dodge, dude. And I can't really bury up my attacks against him. Just kind of a little sucky. You're really a tough cookie, man. Gosh, gonna make me lose all my score. Yeah, that's what I say to you. Evaporation the best medication. How do I get to this key, you think? Um, spider ants, spider ants, little devils. I got three upgrade points. As soon as we find a statue, we're going to use them. Uh, I, this is where I came from, right? Yeah. Maybe I can climb up here? No. Maybe. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I found it, I found it. Brian would be so proud of us. Ah! <laughs> Key me. I don't know if these really do anything for us when all is said and done, but uh, they're kind of fun to find. Bam. 1,500, that's the most we've ever had at one time by far. Whoa. Things are getting creepier. Looks like we're drawing ourselves closer to the succubus. Me no likey. I like this though. Divinity statue. Thank you for being my guide. Let's upgrade some stuff. Um, leap. I don't like that. Payoff. No. Anything new for rebellion? Uh, that one's okay, but m more stabs possible. Blech. Arbiter. I kind of want new moves if that's possible. Can't aim that upwards. This is what I needed. We've been talking about that one for a long time, so give me that. Uh, that seems a little tricky. What about raise? Ooh. Or streak? I like streak. And then... Um... I don't know. What should we do? Maybe upgrade the sword? Default moves cannot be sold. Oh, I can remove upgrades? Strange. Increase damage. Increase distance. More stabs. Let's just do this. More damage for that. There we go. Uh, and then item-wise, I guess I'll buy... There we go. Refills us and does that. Um, I think for right now we're okay. I'm gonna save my moonies. Honey. Honey boo boo. Honey baby. I think Dante and Cat should date, don't you? That's the, that's the inevitable conclusion of this story. Maybe not. Ew. Whoa! It's one of these things. A viral. Oh god. Sorry. It, I was like waiting for it to turn into an enemy. I forgot that it was just gonna be a nasty little. Uh, Spiral of Doom. Exit. Ooh. Ew. 
What is your secret creepy ingredient? What the heck? Whoa, babies. Come here. Get out of here, babies. Whoa, another one? Whoop! Can't hit me in here, can you? Come here. Scumbug it. Give me some points. Whoa, Dante, that was close. Bamzers. Alright. There we go. Yes, it's so awesome. I am the parkour master, Dante. Dantine. Whoa, dude. Huh? Huh? No, no, no. Whips of. Whatever. That doesn't count as a death. It just takes a little of your health. Which is just as bad as dying, you know, presumably, but. I think. Where, which way do I go? I don't really know. I'm gonna go this way, though, because it seems like a different path. Not the mainstay path, so I figured it could be kind of cool. We shall find out for ourselves, though, if it's worth our time. Something up here. It's a Brian! Oh, I've missed you, Brian, you big bum sack. Thank you for your 50 points or whatever the heck you bestow. Ooh. That's a key. How do you think I get there? Is this going to result in the death thing? Back. No. Apparently we're in a secret portion of the level here. But how do I get up? Oh no, this is just here. I see. Okay. What I want to know is how do I get? Whoa. Up. There's something you can grab onto up there. You can see it's activating when I left trigger it up. Oh gosh, this is strange. I probably have to drop from a different level or something and then come back. I bet. Like, once I'm higher up, I don't know. At that point, it's like, is it really worth a few extra little points? Probably not. Whoop! We'll just do our little combat roll. Make our way over here. Suck you, burst! I'm coming for you. Where are you? I am the Blue's Clues Hunter. You are my Blue's Clues paw print. Until I find you, I will search. Follow the snake tubes, follow the snake tube. What? Bop, 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 bop. Demon mode renders Dante immune to the Hell Knight's ground inferno. Oh, okay, so one I'm using that. I don't. Oh, but you're here! There's one of each! What? Oh god. Okay. But if I do this, I'm immune, apparently. Wait, you froze him? Why did you freeze that guy? Whoa! No, no, no! There we go. Now I finally got that action going on. Boosh! You are a done, done demon. Bye bye. Sick of <laughs> Wow! You. What? 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 I, I dealt with you already. You big, fat, ugly. Come back here. Let's do this. Dance with me, brethren. We have to be, like, somewhat related, because my dad was, like, demon lord in this game, right? Bye. Oh, that's a lot of fun. This game rocks and rocks. You know, we're going to keep it going. Headstrong, fast and furious till we're done, because I like it a lot. Is that another Brian over there? I tell ya. These stupid, stinking Brians are everywhere. What are we gonna do with them? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to figure it out next time, though. Thanks so much for watching, guys, girls. Hope you're enjoying a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, Dante and I say, we'll see you all later.